Okay, my friends, here it is right here from the National Aeronautic and Space Administration. It's claiming exactly what I am claiming, that the solar wind, solar wind, which is an irradiation of particles, which I will show you what light is, and it is particles. That solar wind ultimately pushes the waves back. Well, it pushes the particles back against and towards Mercury where they add energy to its surroundings. You see what they say? Push the waves back, adding energy. They highlighted it. It's exactly what I've been saying. And it's, that's what the problem with it is on Earth. It's not the carbon. Carbon is just a factor of carbon dioxide. You could sequester all the carbon you want, it was not going to help. It's the expansion of the gases. So if, you're, if your gases are way out here and you're spinning and scrubbing, you are going to be creating more and more heat. Let me show you. I don't know if I, 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 know if I showed you this yet, but if not, here it is. These are the muons and these are the electron showers. And here they are right there. The black ball separated from the white. They were attached and now they're separated. That's fission. This is fusion. Exactly what CERN and Fermilab want to see. Alright, so we know that we have a ton of solar particles coming at us. They show that in their little representation. It's pushing against Mercury. It pushes against us too. And we are spinning and spinning and spinning. And as we spin, all of these particles are everywhere. They're everywhere. It's saturated. The whole universe is saturated with light particles. They are particles. I, I will show you their particles. There's no question they're particles. And they come down at us as particles. They hit solar panels and conduct as electricity. They heat you and burn you, give you sunburn. They warm our atmosphere. And not only do they warm our atmosphere by penetrating, they warm our atmosphere by scrubbing. So you see this? This is the scrub zone. It's 2,700 degrees out there. It's only 100 degrees on the Earth. 2,007. Why? Out here, same thing. The sun's scrubbing through just exactly like us. And its surface is 10,000. Out here, it's millions. They have no explanation for either of these things. And the only reason is the scrub. They think there's a carbon blanket around the Earth. Is there a carbon blanket around the sun? I don't think so. If this carbon blanket, it's just crazy. It's the expansion of the gases. And the more we expand, the scrubber the scrub. The scrubber the scrub, the heater the heat. The heater the heat, the scrubber the scrub, it keeps expanding. We're in an, a non-ending cycle. As it, as it keeps getting out, we keep getting more heat. And we keep combusting, it keeps going out. The only way we can get out of this is to get free energy that does not expand our gaseous envelope. And that is not going to be fossil fuel. It's going to be electric. And I can do it, I think, within a couple of weeks or a month. And if I'm wrong, We'll know, and then we just go back to doing what we were doing or figure something else out. But this is the way to do it with the high-powered plasma that we, we figured out how to do strictly by constricting this, the thing. We could be doing this within a couple of days. This is just the most simple, basic thing you've ever seen. And all we need is lasers. They're off the shelf. They're coming up with new pick up the solar types of, of stuff which I'm showing now that's what this whole thing was about I'm gonna do that later because I want to get deep into that that's my fun spot because <laughs> they're using the you see this I put all these different colors here to show that's what they're using as transition metals and these other metals and lanthanides to pick up these electrons and that will absorb them and then you have to have a substrate that will drag them out of there and and feed them into your your um, storage devices or whatever equipment it's cars airplanes buses trains submarines i don't care what you make and everybody could have free energy grow their own food pump their own water once you build these solid state they just keep on just keep on going i would think and this would be the better we can get the harvest over here the more energy but right now it's supposed to be 207 times higher than we started with when you can break those particles apart like we did, fission and back to fusion, it's supposed to be 207 times more. I don't know if that's right, but that's what they say.